Oh my God, baby. If you have not seen chapter four of The Mandalorian season three yet, you're going to spill all your damn coffee. Because I spilled all of mine last week because of this darn Luke Skywalker, which I'm still spilling all my coffee over. And I had no coffee to get drunk off, off of last week. And now this week, because of what happened with Favreau and Filoni, and directed by Carl Weathers this episode, I spilled all my coffee again. I was trying to lap it up like a dog on the ground, but now I just, uh, all I got is spotchka right here. And listen, baby, I'm not going to say anything about that episode at all, so you don't have to worry about that. I don't even know why I'm starting this video off like that. But look, the Mandalorian's hot. The Hot Toys figures are hot. These are hot cakes. Are we going from the bargain bin to Markup City? I've got the Spotchka right here, my friends. Mmm. I'm just a little too, a little too uh, drunk on Spotchka and, and Bo Katan because I can tell you right now, we are, we are going to get, as a matter of fact, I'm getting a phone call from the Hot Toys Wizard. What's up, Wizard? Yes, I know we're getting another Bo-Katan. Yes, yes, we're absolutely going to get another Bo-Katan. Yes, and another Boba Fett. Yes, and another Luke. Yes, and another Mandalorian. Uh, no, uh, really? 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 <sighs> Let's go ahead and dive into all this. Right now! And welcome, everyone, to another episode of Aries Terrington's Drunk on Coffee right here at Six Scale Cantina. And in case, just in case, you don't know just who I am, I am the Dark Jedi Aries Terrington, about to serve up all the Six Scale Hot Toys talk, Six Scale talk, and don't forget to please go ahead and smash that like button. I so do very much appreciate your support. And hey, while you're at it, please also go ahead and subscribe to the Cantina. Again, thank you so much for your support. So yeah, I'm a little giddy today. I'm a little happy today. And actually, I kind of needed it because my work day absolutely stunk. And uh, But it ended pretty good. And I tell you right now, I mean, my goodness gracious. Oof, I'm not going to say anything about it. It's just that <laughs> chapter four, episode four, whatever you want to call it from the Mandalorian, absolutely sensational, brilliant, 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 brilliant. And let's get drunk on some Spotchka because you have to wonder, is it possible that we are going to get yet another Bo-Katan from the Mandalorian season three? And I say, yes. Ooh, baby. Uh, I can tell you right now, some things are changing. And, and not just her hair. And I, I can't wait because all of these new announcements seem to be lower production numbers. So... As long as it stays that way, it, it's going to be really, really good because at least the way it appears, they're not just going to be sitting in stock. Now, now this figure is moving very, very well and selling at retail and sometimes even over retail, 
within the secondary market. She's just hot. And I honestly um, don't expect that this one's going to be a log uh, available for really long and, and for forever at a day. And you can certainly get her right now with ease and no problem. But I love this figure. I love the smell of this figure. I love the look of this figure. I just love this freaking figure, baby. It is absolutely sensational. And honestly, I think I would like a new one even more. I would get every single version of this bo -Katan. Um, And it would be great if these new announcements are going to continue to be only up on pre-order for only up on pre-order. Gosh, they're going to be up on pre-order for four, five, six, seven, eight months. It's a really, really long time. But keeping these numbers down anywhere from 1,500 to 5,000 pieces is absolutely the way to go. Um, because not everybody's going to buy her. I mean, there's people like, oh, I just got bo -Katan. And I'm like that with a lot of figures and figures that I'm getting into. I'm going to get the one. I don't need to get every single version. But there's certain figures, certain characters. I'm going to get every version. She's one of them. You know? Rosario Dawson Ahsoka, anyway. You get to get every single one of them. The Mandalorian. Boba Fett. The certain characters that just go that way. Um, man, this is not my typical episode. I'm recording it, but it's almost like we're live. But Hotcakes. 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 Look. Right here, you're, you're, you're seeing this. And it has the low stock remaining on the Collector Edition. When you go to the Deluxe version, it has a low stock remaining warning as well. And I spoke about this last week. And obviously the exclusive version does not have that, neither does Deluxe exclusive version. However, what it does have is a limit of one per person. Which basically, for this figure, these can go out before these low stock warning ones do. And is it possible that when the Collector Edition goes on waitlist and the Deluxe version goes on waitlist, that the Exclusive version is going to go on waitlist and the Deluxe Exclusive version is going to go on waitlist? And I say, what happened with the R2-D2 from the Attack of the Clones 20th Anniversary, even though it did not have a warning? And when all those other ones went out, right after they went out, shortly after it went out. What happened with uh, the Black Adam figure? You know, with, with, with and, and uh, you know, it went on wait lists. And then all of a sudden now the gold version, that, you know, with the gold uh, uh, went on wait list as well. So <sighs> there seems to be a pattern here. Um... When that when that happens, and I'm pulling this actually up on the uh, on the screen, it's the uh, this deluxe version. Okay, so th this had the blue armor. Here's the golden armor, and now that one's on waitlist. The collector's edition's on waitlist. The deluxe version again is on waitlist, and now the golden armor version is on waitlist. And obviously, with the Ahsoka Tano, it was the same story. Okay, it had a low stock warning. It went on wait list. And whether it's Ahsoka with Grogu or Ahsoka without Grogu, it went on wait list in short order. And this Luke Skywalker, I believe, that I had up on the screen, this epic Luke Skywalker, this coffee spilling Luke Skywalker, low stock remaining. There's a limited, limited window. And when it goes, it goes, baby. But let me tell you, it's exciting. It's exciting because, as I mentioned in my last Drunk on Coffee episode, and I know we didn't get a market chart show this past week, but don't worry. Uh, we're going to get one this weekend for sure. Um, this, is, this is absolutely fantastic. Because right now you're going from buying figures that are doomed for the immediate bargain bin anyway. You're going from that to figures that have the potential to not only 
be figures that get their retail value or a little bit over their retail value, but possibly be grails right off the bat. And let me give you some stuff here that's real, real exciting. And <clears throat> when you go ahead and look at, obviously, figures like this, the arena suit, Boba Fett, always going in the high threes, the mid fours, upwards of $500. It's just consistently, like this one that just sold back from, gosh, today, just today, $390, not including the $13.30 in shipping, which puts it at 403 bucks. $403, not including, not including the taxes. An outstanding seller, 372 feedback, all 100% positive. This is the Arena Fed effect. The Arena Fed effect. And they only made 3,000 of these, supposedly. And when you make, when you come out with more announcements, how many Boba, they put this out with how many Boba Fett's that are already available. I mean, gosh, you have Boba Fett and the Throne available. You have the two-pack Boba Fett available. You have the quarter-scale Boba Fett available. You get the book of Boba Fett six-scale figure uh, of Boba Fett available. You got how many Boba Fett's in the secondary market, and then they put this out? Why? And certainly when you ask yourself the question of, will they put out this Bo-Katan here, when they have one up, my goodness, yes, she's a Mandalorian, just, uh, just, uh, you know, like Boba Fett. Wearing the Mandalorian armor. And if you're only going to put out a few thousand or 1,500 or whatever of the same head sculpt, it'll have different hair, it'll have this here, it'll have that here, that edition, who knows? Gosh, they could actually put out two. They could put out the battle damage one. But areas, not everyone would buy it. Listen, instead of making even 3,000 of just Bo, uh, of, of Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian Season 3, they could give you one clean, and then they could give you one battle damage, just like they did with the Mark 85. They can do the same darn thing. But she's not Tony Stark. I understand. Not only is she not Tony Stark, they're not going to produce 20,000 of them just for the U.S. They're not going to produce 20,000 of them for Europe. 80 million of them for, for Asia. Shoot, they could come out with three different versions of Bo-Katan. Thousand here, thousand here, thousand there. And guess what? They would all move fast. Real quick, fast, in a hurry. You won't buy it. This one won't buy it. That one won't buy it. But getting getting rid of just a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, it is so easy. And I really think that's what they're going to do. And I tell you what, it's exciting for me to be able to think about getting all those figures. But look at the prices here. And it's not just the Arena Suit Boba Fett, which is a phenomenal figure. Um, <laughs> you, you could look at the chrome-plated chrome trooper and starting to fetch up now 30 to $50 over its retail value. Forget about these two. Forget about these two. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Before we get to Ahsoka, let me show you some of these other ones here um, to pull up onto the screen, which would be very, very telling. Let's put up a different clone trooper. Let's pull up clone troopers, which were available on Sideshow, uh, and now they're on wait list. And, and, and look at these. Selling from this seller. And a lot of us have bought from this seller. Great seller. Excellent seller. Tremendous seller, 19,284 feedback, all 100% positive. Just selling these like hotcakes. Already six of them just gone at $413. None of these sellers have been able to sell a lot of the figures at these prices lately. Because everybody knew 
that they were going to eventually just be in stock. Not only be in stock, stay in stock. Not only stay in stock, but more than likely, thanks to this economy, get on a discount. And not only a discount, perhaps a super discount, perhaps a super duper discount, perhaps a super duper ooper gooper discount. But now you're starting to see $413 for this trooper? Because are we going from the bargain bin? Are we going from the bargain bin to markup city? Look, this is what happens. This is what happens. It was available for a long time. Now we're going to have to get used to, hey, it's still available for a very, very long time. But now we're going to have to readjust the timing. Because it's looking like anywhere between several months, three, four months, upwards of eight months. So we're going to have to keep an eye on it. And as I spoke about last week, if you're like me and don't have money for so many pre-orders, and, and whether that's right or wrong, it's just the way that you do it. And, and I don't because I'm on such, I just don't do it that way. I, 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 can't, I can't tie up all my money in the pre-order for me personally. Um, it, it just, I, I need to keep an eye on it. Otherwise, when it does... And if I wanted this figure and I wasn't paying attention to the wait list, that's what I'm paying right now from this seller right here. $413. What about Ahsoka? What about the Ahsoka Tana? And <laughs> forget about the Luke. Already four sold, and this just went up in price. Uh, $520. What has this been out for a year or two already? What what is this? The uh <laughs> you're, you're not you're not you're not selling. You're not selling that Boba Fett two pack for five hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, you're not. You're not selling that, that Boba Fett two pack for five hundred and twenty dollars. You're not selling Boba on the throne. For five hundred and twenty dollars. Mmm, baby. Baby, baby, baby. But let me tell you something. I got this figure coming in. I absolutely cannot wait to get it. And part of me is so excited that I'm gonna have instant markup on this figure already. Like, if I needed to for whatever reason, or wanted to for whatever reason, to sell that DX20 Ahsoka, I'm pretty confident right now with the current state, I could get my money back. I could get my money back. I'm actually pretty confident that I'm going to get quite a bit more than my money back. Now, case in point with how hot the Mandalorian is, Case in point with how hot. Oh, see if I can pull this up. And 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 here's here's one of the very few figures that are in stock that are selling sometimes even more than what they're going for in stock. Here here's here's a great seller. I mean twelve thousand hundred and twenty three thousand three hundred and twelve feedback. Two hundred and eighty dollars. Twenty two bids. Free shipping. And this, my friends, is in stock. This one is in stock. And you have to wonder what happens. What happens with this one? That's not only not in stock like bo -Katan, and I pulled up the wrong one. That's not only not in stock like bo -Katan, but <laughs> already out of stock. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
And the big, big thing is here. Going to another DX, my friends. And going back to the first screen that I shared. Yeah, baby. Yeah. This figure is still up. And available. It's been up and available for 22 months. 22 months. This has been up. And available. Plenty of time. And there's still time. But not another 22 months. And not another 22 weeks. And with these low stock warnings, you don't know exactly what you got. But I think in very, very short order. And listen, my friends. This figure right here. Oh, my flipping goodness. It is just... And I just can't get over it. And... I don't know how many of you remembered my show on when they first announced this in 2021. Some of you may have been watching me back then, and it's still up on the channel. And I was so blown away that they were able to capture this moment. But listen, baby. With these final production photos, with a lot of the videos that are coming out, like my friend Reagan's from MRC Collection Ventures, and he was just on the show with a bunch of my other friends here this past Monday on Six Scale Raw. If you didn't see that show, highly recommend checking it out. What a blast. But man, he took, as so many other creators did as well, great pictures and a great review. And this is just sensational. And the best Luke Skywalker figure I've ever seen in any collectible. And if we're wondering how this is going to do in the secondary market, all you have to do, besides believe, all you have to do is take a look at figures that are in stock that are less popular characters. Figures that are in stock that don't have a low stock warning. Figures that are popular, but are not as popular as Ahsoka, and certainly not as popular as Luke, and see how they're doing in the secondary market. Like this bo at $280. There's not even a question if Ahsoka and Luke are going to go for the retail price. The question really is, is how much more over the retail price are these figures going to go for. And it brings a lot of joy to a lot of collectors knowing that the figures that they're getting right off the bat are going to possibly be worth this kind of money. That doesn't mean the other ones that are in stock are not going to be. On the contrary, I believe they will be in the years to come. It's just not that immediate media thing because of this economy so i think that's why you're seeing what you're seeing and when you look at oh my gosh i mean figures like you know i pulled up the black adam before i mean jamie fox and already the wait list full and again it's Bargain bin or a markup city? Pulling this figure up. Bargain bin? Loki or markup city? I mean, not even a question here. <laughs> Gosh, got the deluxe version, you got the collector edition. And, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, with that head sculpt, I mean, gosh. And, it is just so crazy right now with all of these. And, Doc Ock, 
people, a lot of people, collectors clamoring for, uh, 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 I mean, look at this, look at this, my God. And then when you look at characters such as this, uh, Valkyrie, not going to have a problem moving at the retail price. She's not going to have a problem being able to sell 30 to $50 over. I mean, this is going to be like, it's already gone. And a lot of figures, some of them moving and going out real quickly. Can you even imagine this one? Because you're seeing what's happening with these figures. And this one direct links directly in the Star Wars here. Um, and what I was going to pull up over there and see if I could find it is Costco Reeves. Because I just got the I got the funniest feeling that Costco Costco is going to. Here we go. Uh, she's just. It's. I think it's going to go the same exact way as what you saw with the DX twenty. The Ahsoka. I think it's going to go the same exact way that what you saw with the DX twenty three Luke Skywalker. And I just don't think they're going to make as much of her at all as they did with the DX twenty Ahsoka. And certainly not as much as they're going to make with the Luke Skywalker at all. And I think that this figure is going to be so highly sought after as a Mandalorian. And I'd keep an eye on that when this is getting ready to come out. As soon as you see the low stock warning on this, is it possible that that's an indication? That you're about to get some videos and, and uh, you know, that this is going to be coming soon. And your Facebook page that, hey, uh, uh, you know, officially released. I say, yes. And I'm going to talk about this on the Market Chart Show this weekend. 174 dollars for a cable. Going to more. 145 dollars. For the white snowsuit, Black Widow. I mean, Mando and Blurg. Yeah, and the seller relisted this item because for well under the retail price at four hundred and thirty-five dollars, not a single bid, and an outstanding seller, thirteen hundred and eighty-one feedback, all one hundred percent. Positive. Absolutely. Absolutely crazy. And Lando, three bids, $139. Gosh. And Death Watch Mandalorian. $167, 29 bids. There, there's a reason why, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this stuff is happening. But your rare figures, your rare figures, not even Hawk Wars toys. $605, they're starting to sell. They're moving. Not even a best offer here. Hawk Wars Toys now up to fifteen hundred and twenty-two. What is up to that? What is up fifteen hundred and twenty-two feedback? Oh, one hundred percent positive. Gosh, I got a big giant box here from Ray Hawk Wars Toys. I got some crazy fracking unboxings coming soon. Hawk Wars Toys not only sells. A lot of the figures that you could find at retail right now. He sells a lot of grails like this. Anything you're looking for. Star Wars, DC, Marvel, anything Hot Toys. Anything at all, actually. Reach out to Ray. Great, great seller. Um, I got a lot of stuff to unbox. But the Arena Suit of Fett. The Arena Fett is, is what is going on here. And 
I just put this up last week. And it's getting a lot of play on my channel memberships. This is a brand new Cantina Insider membership-only video. Stabilizing the market, the arena effect. And you have to wonder, would you spill your coffee if you joined the channel and checked out this video? And I say, I think so. I really do a deep dive into this. You get so many videos like this. All you got to do is click on the little join button, see everything that it comes with. If you think you could benefit from it, it's cheaper than a dozen eggs. It's cheaper than a dozen eggs, baby. There you go. And in most places, it's cheaper than a, than a gallon of gas. You may want to go ahead and consider joining the channel. I always put out cool stuff like this. I got another one coming out uh, for Monday next week. And it's going to be epic. And it's going to be insane for sure. Besides a box from Hawk Wars toys and new figures, I got another figure from another great seller. And uh, you're going to be wanting to check this out. But some of you are going to know what this big box is. And kind of putting it up here. Yeah, it's a hot toy. What does that number say? What does that number say? Brand new. Give you a little bit of a hint. Be going to be unboxing this very, very soon. And uh, I can't wait to freaking see it. But some of you will know what this is when I go ahead and show you the this part of the box anyway. As I try and pull this over, just move my mic. Some of you know what this is. Some of you will know what this is. It's coming, baby. It's coming. Coming soon. The unboxing. The crazy fracking unboxing. From the Dark Jedi himself. Gosh. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to uh, look out for the market chart show. Don't forget to watch Six Scale Raw next Monday. I don't always buy coffee out, but when I am out, I drink spotchka, and I don't always buy spotchka out, but when I do, mm, I buy it from Six Scale Cantina. Stay thirsty, my friends.